Welcome to 1977 NFL Fights, Cheap Shots, and Hard Hits. If you enjoy this video, please click the like button and consider sharing it with someone. Let's get after it. Terry Bradshaw suffered a lot of injuries during his career. Here, Gerald Irons inflicts some pain on Bradshaw's fractured left hand and wrist. Cleveland Browns running back Cleo Miller was stopped dead in his tracks by Jack Lambert and told, don't come around here no more. That's Cardinals guard Bob Young wearing his war club. One can imagine that it would come in handy during situations like this. Steve Grogan is the Patriots quarterback, and the Patriots tight end is 6'7 inch Don Hasselback. Eagles middle linebacker Bill Berge displays some highly questionable pass defense technique. But it didn't work. Rocco Capella, ladies and gentlemen. Fran Tarkenton was 17 of 18 passing for 195 yards and one touchdown when Gary Burley broke his leg above the right ankle. It was the first major injury in Tarkenton's 17-year career. Let's take a good long look at that last play. The man behind these shades is Hall of Fame safety Ken Houston, and he had his eyes fixed on inflicting some pain. Like this needed tight end Jay Saldi's groin.
Franco Harris was bounced out of bounds on the dirt infield cutout. He failed to tag second base, however. Cleveland Browns head coach Forrest Gregg seemed to have inherited anger tendencies from his former head coach, Vince Lombardi. Defensive players used to give that little bit extra, like Vern Den Herter slamming his forearm into the side of Richard Todd's helmet, or John Mendenhall throwing a chop across Billy Kilmer's throat. Number 72, Cleveland Elam, was a first team All Pro in 1977. Even punters took their lumps. The Jets' Dwayne Carroll would only punt in one more NFL game after this one. <laughs> Number 27 is running back Willie Spencer. Check out how nine-year veteran Skip Vanderbunt gets in a left knee kick to Spencer's face mask. John Brockington started seven games for the 77 Chiefs, and this was his last year in the NFL. Bob Greasy passed to Big Boo, Norm Boulash, who weighed 220 pounds. Patriots cornerback Bob Howard gave away 50 pounds, but this 11-year veteran made a hard textbook tackle that is rarely seen anymore. <music> Defensive back Curtis Johnson was similarly outweighed by Sam Bam Cunningham. Number 24, Johnny Gray snapped Lawrence McCutcheon's neck backwards on this play. And number 13, Jake Scott foolishly tried to take Robert Newhouse head on. Joe Namath was sacked three times in this game, and his time as a starting quarterback was drawing to a rapid close. Number 87, Claude Humphrey and his Falcons teammates celebrated their first win against the Rams since 1973. For Namath, he had the look of a worn out prize fighter. Number 88, 